Owner of two dogs that attacked two people and killed a dog in Palatine was in court today. The victims were outraged the dogs won't be euthanized. WGN's Rob Sneed reports. The attack happened about a month ago, and one of the victims, Amanda Ingram, she was so upset she stormed out of the courtroom crying. Her dog is dead, but the dogs responsible are still alive. It's not fair. She gets to take her dogs home and my dog's dead. It's injustice. Um, this never should have happened. Amanda Ingram and Chase Braun sat in court and listened to the administrative law judge give his ruling. Melania Teodoro struck a plea deal. On May 24th, Ingram took her dog Casper for an evening walk. Police said Ingram was a block away from home near the corner of Greenlee and Washington when two dogs attacked her and Casper. Braun looked out to see what was going on, and that's when he and his dog were also attacked. His dog was bit 15 times but survived the attack. She's been hospitalized twice. Um, she's slowly getting there, slowly getting better, but she's not the same. She's skittish, has nightmares. Both Braun and Ingram were badly hurt and are still recovering. Teradora pleaded guilty to only eight of the 13 ordinance violations. She was ordered to pay court costs and get the dogs trained within 60 days. The dogs must leave Palatine. Ingram and Braun feel the punishment wasn't severe enough. You're just releasing the dog off into another community where it can attack someone else. Neither Teradora or her lawyer would speak on camera. However, he did say his client is appreciative of the Palatine Police Department and the system, and that Teradora's dogs are registered emotional support dogs. I don't know how somebody can get therapy from seeing their dogs kill another dog, severely injure two people and bite uh, another dog 15 times. I mean, if that's therapy, uh, I don't know. I, that's baffling. And God forbid whatever town gets those two dogs. And the lawyer for both of the victims say his clients plan to sue. In Palatine, Rob Sneed, WGN News.